The West Ranch Wildcats and the Hart Indians both had doubleheader games on Tuesday night here at the West Ranch Gymnasium. Both teams battled it out between each other for their first game of the year. And we'll start things off with the girls basketball game. The Indians crushed the Wildcats in a blowout. Elise Mitchell, Morgan Mack, and Laney Greider all contributed 45 points together. And what's ironic is that it almost matches the point difference in the final score. Coming right out of the gate, the Indians already had some fire hands from their starting lineup. With this handoff on Laney Greider, Morgan Mack makes her way to the basket with this move behind the back and then makes this nice step back to extend the lead for Hart. Hart still dominating both sides of the court. With this major pass from Mack, Greider slides the ball to the basket with the finger roll, putting Hart at 11-2 just in the first quarter. The Wildcats would make this bad pass right to the Indians and the ball would find its way to Arlie Eve, who would hand it off to Elise Mitchell to put in the easy bucket. Hart would be leading by nearly 20 points near the half. Mitchell. With the fourth quarter pressure, West Ranch decided to put some points on the board. Wildcats Aubrey Molina drains this three-pointer to reduce the point difference. Molina. But Hart will go on to win the ball game with the final score 70 to 36. The Indians now focus their attention to their next game. I feel like with our team, every game, as long as everyone does their job, then we're fine. And so everyone just has to show up ready to play and then we'll be okay. The Lady Indians are now looking forward to this Friday, where they'll be facing off against the Canyon Cowboys in a classic matchup. For these two teams, they'll be competing against each other for the first time in their 2023 season. And now let's talk about how the boys basketball team of West Ranch High School had a dominating night. The Wildcats started off their new year with a bang by coming back to the home court to defeat the Indians after being away for 11 games straight on the road. And last time I spoke with Coach Jeff Bryant, he was not happy with the results against Valencia. And that surely changed because on Tuesday night, he talked about how his team went up against some of the biggest programs in the nation. And as a result, they played on a different level against the Indians. With the Wildcats coming back from the road, they were ready to put on a show. And that they did with this nice pass from James Evans to Andrew Meadow in the corner. He was ready to swish his three with ease. West Ranch will put the full court pressure on Hart and it would result in a steal from Jazz Gardner as he would make this dunk with no one around him to expand the point difference on the board. Hart would soon have another turnover, but this time the steal was from Meadow. He would throw down the two-handed dunk right past Indians' Tim Larkins. The Indians came together in the fourth quarter to lower the point difference on the scoreboard. Hart's Jack Oldhaffer would sink this three-pointer with the assist from DJ Lontok. Then Joseph Montez drains another three-pointer from beyond the arc for Hart. But West Ranch will continue on to win the ball game against the Indians. And the Wildcats are getting ready for a rematch against a team with a specialty. They're our his, historical defensive team. Um, they're, actually their nickname is Clamp City. So they're, they're a pretty aggressive team. They're looking to pressure you. Kind of like the way we play, how we want to play. Uh, we actually just played them on Saturday at the Damien Tournament. Uh, we won that game by nine. So I, I, you know, I expect this Saturday to be uh, a pretty good game. The Wildcats look to continue their dominating season. But the real challenge is going to be this Saturday against Eddie Wanda in a rematch. But this is not going to be an issue for West Ranch since they are the number one school in the state and also number 20th in the nation. For Canyons News, I'm Kyle Kalmodo.